So I suppose we already like we've talked a lot about chilling effect, but um, you know, again, just to reiterate just how chilling um it can be, um, because I've already seen this um in some political work. Um, I mean, a brilliant example of chilling effect um is um the climate bill um and the way that that has been constructed um by the civil service um because they have tried to write a climate bill um that is um you know unjudiciable um and obviously if you try and do that now this is to stop citizens from suing the state for not or you know taking the state to court for not actually reaching um its um its climate targets and goals um but you know i i just think it's very illuminating and revealing example of um, just how afraid the Irish civil service is of litigation. And this is, you know, against its own, you know, citizens um, that they are this afraid. So that will just give you an example of the scale um, of chilling effect that um, multi-billion dollar corporations um, could have, you know, um, because again, this is another thing that um, has been coming up as well this idea that um you know and i've heard i've heard it from a few people now um but um and perhaps that might be why the engos um some of them anyway haven't been getting as involved is this idea that um if the green party doesn't agree to CETA, then the climate bill will be scrapped um that's a fabrication that's a complete fabrication um don't believe that that's not true um and even if that was to be the case you know the climate bill is actually a brilliant example um of just how chilling um the the threat of um litigation can be and that's just against you know like environmental groups like um you know <laughs> friends of the irish environment um so if if they're that afraid of friends of the irish environment how afraid are they going to be um, of uh, Canadian multi-billion dollar corporations.